Hello everyone and welcome to the news of Ashiroq TV. Our headlines include Sudan Congress Party decides to participate in transnational government. Hamdok appointing General Police Khalid Mahdi Ibrahim as the Deputy Police Director General. Al Burhan assures firmness of Sudan Jordan relations. The Central Council of the Sudan Congress Party has decided to participate in the Sovereign Council and the Cabinet of the Transitional Government, retracting from its previous decision in this connection. The Chairman of the Party's Central Council, Abdul Qayyum Awad Seed, stated that, based on the request of the Party's Political Bureau, to review the previous Council's decision not to participate in the Sovereign and Council of Ministers, and after the Central Council deliberated on the review request, it decided in a three-day video conference session to participate in the Sovereign Council and Council of Ministers and called on parties' organs to strive to make this possible. The Congress party official said the Council decisions based on the assessment of the performance of the government and the party during the past period. Dr. Abdullah Hamdok, according to a recommendation by the Interior Minister, issued a decree appointing General Police Khalid Mahdi Ibrahim as the Deputy Police Director General and Police Inspector General. The Sudanese Prime Minister has picked 13 of 18 civilian governors as he has faced an array of challenges, including women's appointment, said the government. The consultations of the Prime Minister have resulted in the selection of civilian governors in 13 states. Consultations are underway to choose governors for the remaining states, said the government spokesman Faisal Muhammad Saleh in a statement. Saleh also added that the security conditions and tribal disputes in some states complicated the choice of the governors and opened the door to new alternatives. The head of the Transitional Sovereign Council, Lieutenant General Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, has affirmed the historical relations between Sudan and Jordan in all domains. This came when al-Burhan met on Tuesday at his office in the Presidential Palace, the Jordanian ambassador to Sudan, on the occasion of the expiry of his term of office in Sudan. The Jordanian diplomat in press statements to Sunna described the Sudanese-Jordanian relations as distinguished and witnessed development in economic, political and social fields. Al-Burhan granted the ambassador a kneeling order for his class for his role in strengthening relations between the two countries. The Cabinet Affairs Minister, the Supervisor of the National Mechanism for Protection of Civilians, Ambassador Omar Maniz, presided over on Monday at the Council of Ministers the meeting of the mechanism which deliberated on the matrix for the National Plan for Protection of Civilians. The matrix included a number of axes, top of which addressing the issues of the displaced and the refugees, mechanism for resolution of conflicts, disarmament, disintegration and demobilization, violence against women and child and issues of nomads. The Prime Minister has earlier decreed the formation of the mechanism under supervision of Cabinet Affairs Minister and the Chairmanship of the Interior Minister. The North Darfur Security Committee has categorically denied the presence of a sit-in in Kutum area, North Darfur, describing the news reports carried out by some social media concerning the breaking up of a sit-in in the town as unfounded, statement said. The statement issued on Monday by the State Security Committee said the sit-in is staged in Fattabarno area, adding that the Security Committee visited the area at the request of the protesters to listen to their problems and find the solutions in this connection. The statement indicated that some of the protesters called for holding a meeting with the Security Committee, but some of them refused to meet the committee who cancelled the meeting and returned to Al Fashir by air. The Acting Minister of Finance and Economic Planning, Dr. Hiba Muhammad Ali, met on Monday the negotiating delegation of the Revolutionary Front. The meeting discussed the efforts being exerted to achieve peace in the country and the best means for the realization of peace and the return of the displaced and the refugees to their areas of origin. The minister said the rehabilitation and reconstruction are top priorities of the transitional government. The member of the Transitional Sovereign Council, Professor Sadiq Tawar, affirmed the state's keenness to boost national unity and reunification of the country's political components. During his meeting with the delegation of the National Initiative to bring closer points of view of all political forces and the delegation of the Darfur Initiative for Peaceful Coexistence, 
On his part, the Secretary General of the Darfur Initiative for Peaceful Coexistence, Tajeddin Siddiq, stated that the purpose of the initiative is to communicate with all community components to strengthen the social fabric. It also aims to provide services and address all the deeply rooted problems, explaining that farmers and herders are two sides of the same coin, indicating to the need to organize workshops and meetings with individuals and groups to revive the values of solidarity and to unite governmental and popular efforts in order to preserve the state's prestige, security and stability. The Sudan Federal Ministry of Health has announced 67 new confirmed cases of COVID-19, raising general toll to 10,316 deaths and 62 recoveries. Khartoum State only has registered 10, Jazeera 24, Kassala 22 and Red Sea 11 cases of COVID-19. Reminding headlines. Sudan Congress Party decides to participate in transitional government. Hamdok appointing General Police Khalid Mahdi Ibrahim as the Deputy Police Director General. Al Burhan assures firmness of Sudan Jordan relations. Well, that was everything for tonight. Thank you for following and see you next time.